Alright, I'll go first. This is the dank pecking lures for me I have to use for 20 bucks. The first thing you ask me using is this Rapala Shadow Wrap Jerk Bait. Slow sinking. Wait a minute. This is your bag. Just, just a different color. Whoops. Then he has me using this chatterbait type thing. It says swim it and jig it. So I got some hooks. Those don't count. And then this is gonna be the hardest one out of them all. The Buzz Plug Junior. Like what even is this supposed to represent? And then finally, Joe's Fly. I'm gonna have to put this on like ultra light or something. So thank you, you show them what you did. Sorry, he, he had me he had he, he picked me out. This these crawls. What color are they? Green pumpkin? Something. Watermelon. Watermelon candy. candy. And then shag wrap, whatever that color is. Yeah. Same thing. And I, I just bought some more hooks. The catfish. Doesn't count, does Doesn't it? count. Doesn't count. Then he got me these pre-rigged, pre-rigged Ned rigs. We all have, we have to catch fish on every one to complete yep. the challenge. Or the winner is the one who catches the most fish on. Well, the most uses the most lures. Yep. Oh, <laughs> and then he got me these fake worm things. Big old worm rig, something like that. Got Ready some blades on action. them. Got two hooks. I think that's gonna be pretty easy. And then he got me this spinner bait. Pretty with, big. With a Colorado blade. How many? What ounce is that? Three eighths ounce. So hopefully we complete this challenge, and next thing you see is us fishing. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. You you'll like it. You'll like it. You'll promise like it. me. Yeah, we might even put a GoPro on a catfish. Yeah, if we catch a nice catfish, strap that baby on, and put it down there. It's an old GoPro, so we really don't yeah, care. Yeah, it's it's just an old one. Stay tuned. It's not Make sure it's straight. And that right there is how you fix a rod 101. Maybe even add a little bit more glue. I don't really trust it. And you're going to hook a big one, your eyelid's going to go flying. Yeah. Ring it up to Joe Flies on the Fluger. I have four pound on there because it says ultra light tackle. And I can cast it farther. So. So, me and Nick, we're all rigged up with all our baits. Yep. And I got my rod fixed. We got his rod. What's on that? Jerk bait. Jerk bait. Jerk bait. Jerk bait. Jerk bait. Then he has this weird worm, but I have all my lures rigged up right over there. And I got my brand new reel on my rig on my bait caster with a spinner bait. bait. All right. Next time you see us, we'll be fishing. So keep watching if you made it this far. Even though it's probably only about 20 seconds long. But still, some people just click off. So, stay tuned. Alright, we're here at the water. Where's... Oh. I'm starting off with the Joe's fly. We need the drag really loose. 
So this is only four pounds. I think I had one chasing the fly. Yep. I don't know, I couldn't see it. Dank, what happened? You think it's a musky? There are probably like a Sanko or something. No. We had Oh. We have seen muskies here before. So Want it be the? We've had them chase our lures. Oh, ew! What are those? What? We're gonna go with this chatterbait. At least that's what I think it is. This is crystal clear. And he made me use a black and blue. Which, this can still work. I'm using a green pumpkin trailer. Crawl. Because I don't have any swim baits. Oh. I want to go up to where the water's coming down. Where we have most of our luck usually but i was just seeing if we could get some bites down here but i'm gonna get up here try to catch some fish first fish of the day i gotta ask dink if this counts or not but first smallie hey watch it on the rapala shadow wrap jerk bait Get a nice release on this guy. Okay, that scared the living bejeebies out of me. But fish number one, I'm gonna use this a little bit more. I'm gonna fish my way back to all the way down there. Took me a little walking to catch fish here. But oh I think, sorry I didn't get video of that. I kind of felt like something was heavy on there. Because there's a fish. He must have swiped it at it. Whoa! The fish might be deeper now. I don't know if they're done spawning yet or not. I have no idea. They might be in these deeper holes. There's one. Stay down, big boy. Actually, he's just a little guy. He's giving a good fight. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Another smallie. Look at that chub. He's chubby. He's been eating well. They're getting some good. They're eating well in this river with the Susquehanna. This guy's probably gonna splash me too. There he goes. Alright, I might have found the spot. The fish. 
I think lost his shadow wrap Rapala. He said he got bit off. Wait, you guys already saw. Fishing's a little rough right now. Caught two fish all day. Even though we only been out here for like two hours. So all day. Can't only caught a fish on that jerk bait. Can't catch one on the Joe's flies or the chatter bait. Or the top water, but I've only threw like four casts of that. Fishing sucks today. So see you when we catch a fish. Dang, it's raining. We're getting away from the water so we don't get struck by lightning. Like where? Yeah. But I'm gonna grab a water. You have mine? Oh no, I did it. Look at that. That's cool if you can even see it. I'm gonna go explore and see what's back here. Dang, we're waiting. We're waiting. Dang just hooked up. He just dropped it. Uh, I'm switching to a way to Texas rig. The Gugan baits work. Nice old river smally here. Let's get him back in. Off he goes. I'm just using the Gook and Bait Slim Shake weighted Texas rig. There's a hit. That's cool. Look at that size of that bluegill. Dang, get a release on them. <laughs> 